everybody and welcome back. We are about to continue on with our story through A Realm Reborn of Final Fantasy XIV and we are going off where we left off. I have come to expect a great deal from you, lass, and you never once let me down. Well, that's good to hear. Yet what I ask of you now goes beyond all I've asked before. Would you hear my plea all the same? Just desserts. Stalwarin has some reason to believe that Severin is up to no good. Something must be done. Let's see what he has to say. It eases my mind to, hear, to have your ear. You've no doubt familiar with the scoundrel Severin by now. Yeah, we've met him a few times. Well, the scheming scapegrace is at it again. Since that letter came for him, he's been skulking about in the manner he does when he's up to no good. Now he's round up his rogues and buggered off with nary a word to anyone. I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but something tells me this is different. It ain't exactly damning, but when last I had words with him, he didn't look defiant so much as hunted. I can't help thinking he's gone looking for trouble and found more than he wanted. So I was hoping you might hunt his sorry hide down and drag it back here before it's too late. Sure thing, we can do that. The ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets, but I can't quite bring myself to cut him loose. I suppose he reminds me a bit of myself, of my younger self. Suffice it to say, I'd rather he didn't come to a sticky end. As for how to find him, I'd try asking Grenowindia at the Etherite. She was the last one to see him. I dare say she'll be able to tell you where he was headed. Quest accepted. Now we gotta go and hunt down this rogue and see what he's up to, huh? Ooh, here she is. Nothing that passes through those gates escapes my notice. I saw the rouser and his rabble set off for the Road Whisper Canyon not long ago, singing and drinking themselves stupider. Cheeky sod said I should join them. I told them I'd rather shrivel up and sip whatever it was that had pickled their brains. If you find the idle swine, be sure to give them a cuff round the ear for me, will you? I'll be sure to do that. I know we only had just, like, a few lines with her, but I like her. She's someone I think I would get along with pretty well in, like, the real world. Mm. Yeah, I guess we're okay. The important thing is that we look damn good. I don't mind going into battle a little unprepared, so long as my character here looks damn good. Oh, it's so much fun, isn't it, that we have to run everywhere? I get why they did this, that you can't unlock mounts until you reach a certain point in the quest line, but it's still annoying just trying to get up that far. But we're making pretty good progress. Okay, we can't go through there, which is odd. Almer, I remember you. You okay? Of all the dirty, deceitful, downright, dastardly deeds that slippery bastard's done. Claiming to take the lads up for a drink, only to lead us straight into a bloody trap. It don't get no lower than that. Of course, I've learned to stay a step ahead of old Severin, so I was ready. But the others weren't so lucky. You've got to help them. Yep. Saw that coming. Oh, somebody's already here. That's a surprise. Two people here. How you doing, buddy? You okay? My axe may as well have been a white flag for all the good it did. Hope you fare better or that sorry bastards in there are done for. Uh, 
I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, I don't really have much to go on at this point. Nah. Mm. No, I really don't have anything, do I? Oh, we all gotta try somewhere, huh? Let's see if they have anything to say. It ain't safe here. Take the others and get out while you still can. Tattooed man. At long last, you will have a dog death you deserve, deserter. Ooh. That's not good. Now we go back and talk to this little guy here. I'm lagging a bit in case you couldn't tell. So it might have gone and gotten us into this mess, but I ain't about to let him give up his life for us. I'd sooner bow to a fish back than be that conniving bastard's debt. Two arms! True, Knave. You betray even yourself, Severin. Uh, you were prepared to over we were prepared to overlook the matter of your desertion on the condition that you provide us with suitable replacements. That was the agreement. Yet your latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. Few are they who betray the serpent reavers twice. You will not be do so a third time. Hello. Cowering behind your protector will only delay the inevitable. Honorless wretch, your life is all you have left. And worthless though it be, we shall take it. O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command that I may smite mine enemies. brought it out just for us. You shouldn't have. Really, you shouldn't have. This is going to be a pain to deal with. Well, maybe not. Not as bad as I thought it would be. You are strong. Are you strong enough to withstand this? Never has the golem been so sorely tested. Duty complete. That the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. Whatever else these guys may be, they certainly know how to get around, don't they? Ah, the snake slithered away. 
I am only glad he did not have the chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you. Those pirates do not belong to any of the known moments and factions. Whom then do they serve? The beast tribes? Surely not. But the timing of their appearance coincides all too neatly with the recent surge of Sahagin and Cobalt activity. Something is afoot. The question is, what? Could it be that the tribes are planning to summon their primals? Well, help us if they should prove so. Limsa would be hard-pressed to keep a single primal at bay, let alone two. But all is yet speculation. I must needs find evidence. The seeds continue to rise. While the lesser moon continues to fall. And M by M, the world becomes ever more unlike itself. It is as Louis Swa foretold. The coming of chaos has rendered the laws of nature immutable, blurring the boundary between the material and ethereal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they are not here yet. Though time be against us, hope shall ever be on our side. Never did the creed of Charlian ring more true. Never did I dream that I would possess the means to see Ether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take it for granted. How swiftly do the wonders of Charlian seem commonplace? Um... Here, for you. Have you come for the festivities? Today the Maelstrom officially makes that great hole in the sea its training ground. Join in the celebrations. Aw, oh, she's cute. Wait, a disturbance in the etheric flow. But whence does it emulate? Sea Song Grotto, perhaps? What have we here? Can you walk? As I, regrettably know, he eluded me. Understood. I will inform the Commodore. You collapsed from your exertions. Are you suitably recovered? Yeah, I'm fine. Severin here has appraised me of all that transpired. His account shed some light upon how you came to be attacked by a golem of all things. A golem is a mindless automaton. Insert save when commanded to otherwise. Common pirates could not hope to control such a thing, so Arcanics are in work are in its workings. But then these tattooed wretches are no common pirates. They are the minions of the Sahaga. As to their purpose, well, I shall get to the bottom of it. But first I must escort Severin back to his place of employment. I dare say Stalwirin would be wondering what has become of him. And you too, for that matter. I will bear word to him of your preservation, but I am certain he would like to thank you in person. Pray pay the man a visit. If you insist. Ah, he told me of you, but perchance he did not tell you of me. My name is Yestola. I am a naturalist of sorts, surveying the ether in the hopes that it might offer up some clue as to our predicament. 
I'd say I owe you my life, but that don't cover it. If it weren't for you, my friends would be dead and all. It is a debt I can never repay, but I'll not make things worse by running away. Take me to Summerford Farms, and I'll face the consequences. The reasons I cannot fathom. You seem... Forgive me. Mayhap we have a chance to speak again when I have mis... Marshaled my thoughts. Until our paths next cross. Farewell. Well, that was fun. Now we head back to where we came from. Too bad Sprint doesn't last for long. Uh, oh, my dear Mount, when do we unlock thee again? I forget. I really need to try to figure out what I'm going to say during, like, these long walks. I really don't know what to say, though. Cross uh, the bridge. Just keep going forward. Keep going up. And we made it in one piece. Here we are. Got anything to say for yourself? And yours and all adventure. I've caused more than my fair share of trouble during my time here. Not that you need telling. Sounds like you just finished apologizing. Lo, oh, I knew you return. Your stolen delivered Severin Abinico. Tales of your heroic deeds precede you. The rest came shuffling back, too, a lot of them sporting the same haunted expression. It's me who's to blame for that, and the rest. I was once a serpent reaver, a thrall to the Zahagan. Seven hells, reaver may look and sound and act like pirates, but they're not but fishbacks, flunkies. Us pirates ain't much for laws, but there's things we won't do. We've a code, see, but the Reavers never followed a word of it. A few years back, they started snatching law-abiding Lobinsons. I'd only just taken my oath when our captain bent the knee to his new Sahagan masters. I knew I had to get away. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name, and found myself a new home. Summer for farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay secret for long round here, and word soon spread all the way back to the sea. The penalty for desertion is death, but the Reavers offered me a way out instead, my freedom in exchange for my mates. The letter. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't bloody thinking. Too busy soiling, soiling myself. I bet you got there in the end, didn't you? When the time came, you made the right decision. The men say little to me, but I hear them talk of how you stood up to the Reavers at the last, of how you tried to give your life to save theirs. Be that as it may, no deed, however good, can atone for the crime of betraying your brethren. I know that. I do. That's why I'm going to hand myself over to the Yellow Jackets. I'll bring shame to the farm no more. Hmm. You hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. 
I just hope York guides you back here someday. There will always be a place for you at Summerford Farms, lad. And I'll always be in your debts there, Weirin. That's sad. I feel kind of bad for the guy. Didn't want to be a pirate like that, but... I owe you a debt too, Claire. Not once have you let me down. Thank you for saving the men of my farm. If I could ask one more favor of you, it'd be this. Tell Batteron what's happened, from start to finish. I'm certain he'd put in a good word for Severin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of the few people I know who the Yellow Jackets will listen to. Well, I reckon I've asked all I possibly can ask of you. Safe travels, lass. And we just return back. Well, I had a good time at Summerford Farms. Don't know if you all enjoyed it. I'm back! Okay, let's head upstairs. Back in the wench. And that's everything that happened. Bloody hells. Life on the farm ain't quite how I pictured it. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself over young Severin. The yellow jacket at that ends out the punishments is a good mate of mine. If I ask him nicely, I reckon he'd be willing to commune the lad's sentence from angling to keel hauling. Kindly gents that he is. I'm sure he is. I'm only just jesting with you. I'll see he's treating fair. Now it sounds to me like you've done everything old Stalewin asked of you and more. Justifying me generous finder's fee in the process. Much obliged, lass. As for a reward, well, she's a lonely lady, this drowning wench of mine. How'd you fancy keeping your company for a spell, with free room and board? Oh, that would sound wonderful in real life. Ventrin's a trying business, after all. Them as don't rest their bones every now and again tend to end up with broken ones. And take it from me, fighting ain't nearly so much fun when you're nursing a shattered arm. Got that? Good. There's always gonna be a free bed for you here. So make use of it. In rooms now available. Not that you'll have much time for lying to Brown. What with all the levs you'll be doing. Oh, didn't I mention? I'm putting your name down for levs. Our guy draws all manner of clients, offering all manner of odd jobs. Honestly, you'd be amazed how much folk pay for avoiding doing an honest day's labor. Just give Timorki a shout whenever you feel like making a few extra gil. She's always have some tasks for other or other for you to do. Guild lives now available. Oh, and it's all above board, in case you're wondering. We're careful to stay on the Admiral's right side in here, unlike some pirates I could mention. I tell you, if it turns out they had nothing to do with them kidnappings, there'll be seven L's to pay. Proper bleeding reckoning. But yeah, that's what Limsa needs, though. One rough sea, sometimes you have to rock the boat to ride it. But we'll have time for such talk when you're well and rested. Till then, enjoy the wench's hospitality. Why, thank you! Okay, and just desserts is over. 
Okay, I think we're just going to call it a day right then and there. Okay, hope you all enjoyed this video and you'll be looking forward to the next one soon. Bye-bye.